Now, armed men have shot and killed a gold dealer at Darisaso in the Amansie South District, where seven Kumasi-based uh, Zongo youth were gunned down by police earlier this year. Now, it's the second of such incidents in two weeks after three people were shot at uh, in Manso Aponopono, leaving them in critical condition. Ohiming Teria has more in this report. The identity of the disease victim and other details are unavailable, but reports suggest the attack occurred on Tuesday. Authorities in the district are worried about activities of robbery gangs in the area with suspected local collaboration. District Chief Executive Willem Asante Bediako, who also heads the security committee, believes some residents have teamed up with outsiders to perpetrate such crime. He says intelligence points to several planned robbery attacks to be undertaken by the groups during the Christmas festivities. Though he will not mention names, he revealed some communities in the district have become safe haven for armed gangs. I can, I can tell you that we have, I mean, we have several robbery gangs that operate in this area. I can, that one I can tell you. The district received information? I'm telling you that we have information on robbery gangs that operate in my area. I can mention some of the communities where they operate from. I can mention some of their syndicates in please Kumasi. Please, no. Please mention the communities in, they operate in, in, in Kumasi where some of these gangs operate from. I can I can tell you where some of the gangs they take their their arms and whatever from to come and operate here and, and go back. But I I I want to say that Nobody is happy. Nobody was happy for what happened. And we are praying it doesn't happen again. But if I'm to tell you the kind of threats we are going through now, because robbers still want to strike. All this comes on the back of killing of what became known as a Zongo 7 in the area that has seen influx of people due to mining activities. Mr. Bediako is worried about the reluctance of residents to give information on criminals in the area to police or DISEC. He commends police for their continued support in promoting security in the area despite recent setbacks. You know, my own life has been in my hands for so many months now. I'm a target of attacks here and there. At the point I even have to leave this country for a while. And so um, it depends on where anybody is sitting you can say whatever you want to say but i want to say that threats in this area is real and i want to commend the kind of police service they are they have still given us the swat team to be here and they are monitoring our roles especially our dawns and in the evenings because our intelligence is, is telling us that Arm robbers want to still strike, especially getting to this Christmas Eve. So the SWAT team here, they, they don't sleep in the evenings and in, in the nights. Uh, uh, in the evenings, in the nights, and at dawn, because the arm robbers are unrelenting. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Ohimeteria reports.